All right. Welcome, everybody. I am here with Jenny from Jam Bar, and we're so excited to have you here today, Jenny, to talk about what in the world is Jam Bar? How did it come about? And for you to just give us some little tidbits about this new bar that's on the market. Oh, great. Thanks, Daphne. I'm happy to be here today. Pleasure to meet with you, new listeners. Oh, good. So, yeah, I'm Jenny Maxwell and creator of Jam Bar. And I'll take you take us back in history a little bit and you'll get yeah, a good idea of where we are now and why and then where I've been. Back in 1985, my late husband Brian and I created the entire energy bar category with Power Bar. And some of your listeners might remember Power Bar back in the 80s. Oh yeah. There was I, such thing as an energy bar back then. I know it, that was such a pioneer move on your part. We were pioneers. We, we were, were pioneers. People. people didn't eat before they run. No. Huh? And so the whole impetus of Power Bar was Brian was an Olympic marathon runner and I was a competitive runner and wow. we wanted to create a product for ourselves. And so we, out of our little kitchen in Berkeley, we created Power Bar and the process, the product, and we yeah. grew the company and sold it in 2000. We had over hundred employees, very successful. A lot of competitors came on the market. The energy bar category really morphed into different specialties, but Power Bar is very innovative and we're very proud of what we accomplished in the food industry and in running community in general. No. What year was Power it Bar. you started Power Bar? We launched in January of 87. 87, okay. Yeah, so we yeah. incorporated in 85, on the market in 87. Yeah. Awesome. With chocolate and malt nut, just two flavors. And then over time, we ended up with over 10. But yeah, it was a really fun journey. And running is huge to our success, for sure. That's awesome. Fast forward now. Along the way, we have six children together. So I'm a very involved wow. mother. My kids are now out of the house. And unfortunately, Brian did pass away of a congenital heart defect in 2004. Oh. So at that time, it was really about reinventing myself and keeping the family together. Yeah, absolutely. And in that process, I became a musician. And that's part of the reason for Jam Bar. Also, running remained very pivotal in my life. I stopped competing after that time. I just couldn't put that kind of stress on my body and run every day pretty much, but I just lost all interest in competition. Yeah. But passed on the running passion to my kids. All of my kids run at different levels. My daughter being very competitive and my third son being very competitive, all the way to my other kids just running for fitness and running in high school, things like that. So... After Brian passed in 2004, it was really keeping things go, keeping the family going and trying to discover what I wanted to do to rediscover who I was because I had always identified as Brian and Jennifer Maxwell. Yeah. And I was very young when I got married. Let me um, ask you with Power Bar and you sold it, did during that time when it was gone from you, the whole bar business, did you yeah. miss it? Did you think about it? Were you like, oh, I really um, was still doing that or not really? A little bit. It was like a child. Power Bar was like a child to us. So yeah. it's hard. You let the child go and someone else that goes on its next journey. Mm -hmm. And Power Bar did. But it's hard not to be concerned with how it's doing and how the market is morphing into different types of energy bars and how they're changing Power Bar. Because it was changed from when we sold it to when it, how it ended up and how it is a little bit today and through that whole period of 20 something years. So, of course, but you can't since we have no control over anything got to move forward yeah. right yeah. you got to move forward right. and by moving forward I just got out of the energy bar industry I dabbled in some other businesses like I said raising my family and turned to music in 2007 I, I started playing the drums and awesome. I decided I was going to become a musician <laughs> worked really hard at it different and path. a little different path what's interesting is a correlation was because with drumming you're you have four limb independence right both feet, both hands are doing something different. And you're also focusing on a tempo or a cadence, which is similar to when you're running, the movement of running and how your heart rate and your breathing is integral to your experience. Mm. And with drumming, it's very similar. You really are keeping a tempo and yeah. keeping a cadence and keeping a band together, understanding rhythm. So there, there's a lot of parallels that way. And then as a musician, you can 
rehearse or play alone, or you can play as part of a band. Like with the running, you can run alone, or you can go on the track and run with your teammates. Yeah. So it, there's well, just I, a lot of parallels. I see in your logo behind you, you have the music note and the word jam. So I'm assuming that all ties together with your passions and the name of the bar. Yeah. Get your jam on is yep. our slogan. So the jam bar was really a result of a time in my life where I had to look ahead and conversations with my kids, my daughter in particular, about and looking at the industry, what was out there, right? There was nothing out on the market that I really wanted to eat. And I love energy bars and I'm a food scientist, right? So that's my passion is to create. And I was looking, okay, what energy bars would I even feel like good about eating? It tastes good and I feel good about the ingredients and there weren't any. <laughs> um, so I thought, well, I'm going to give this a go. I'm going to, I'm going to make a list of things I want to put in the product and what I don't. Mm -hmm. And I want te certain texture. I want it to be in flavors and all that kind of thing. And I worked for four years on that process, not necessarily knowing if I was going to make a company out of it or what the company would look like. And I resulted in something I was super proud of. And I would just like back in the power bar days, I would share it with my friends and family close mm -hmm. friends and say, this is something I'm working on. Give me your input. What do you think? And then I got to a point in formulation where I was really ready to go and shelf life tested everything and all the ingredients were producible and it was, had enough of a newness to it that I think it really adds to the category. So the priority is, and what jam bar is I wanted organic, right? There's very few organic energy bars on the market. Yeah. So I want hundred percent organic. I want real food. And that means that I don't want to use ingredients that are manufactured that don't exist in nature. A lot of the energy bars have sweeteners in particular, the brown rice syrup, tapioca syrup, that aren't really, they don't really exist in nature. They're manufactured sugars. And that's probably the biggest hurdle. And I was able to accomplish that. We yeah. use maple syrup. And uh, of course, our cost of goods is a premium product. Jammer is a premium product for that reason. I wanted it to have a good amount of protein and be gluten-free, grain-based. So have a nice sort of sustenance to it, not just dried fruit. Dried fruit is great, but dried fruit bars, which are real food bars, it's just a little too sweet for me. I wanted to have a little different texture and a little more product attributes with grains. And I worked with quinoa, sorghum, brown rice, and oat bran. Jam bar is a grain-based product. And I didn't want it to have too much fat because as an athletic food, you want to, you want to have lower or moderate amounts of fat for digestibility. So our fat content is only anywhere from four to five, six grams of bar. So it's not particularly, but it's not based on nuts, let's say. There's some good energy bars out there that are natural, but they're based in nuts. And that's pretty heavy to use as a pre-race or during a race fuel. Mm -hmm. If you've got a bar that's about 15 or more grams of fat, yeah. it's based on peanuts and, and stuff like that. Yeah, Jam Bar really fits the bill of having a comprehensive nutritional package, which is all organic and all real food. Yeah. Um, and then you've got to taste good. <laughs> you don't want to eat it. It doesn't taste fantastic. And Jam Bars really do taste super good. Yeah. Because we use all super premium ingredients. So. I, and I've had several of the flavors and I can mm -hmm. attest that they do taste good. And they're, mm -hmm. not, they're not, which is nice, especially... Yeah. I'm on my bike and I pull it out of my pocket and I'm eating it. I'm not overpowered by it being just too much. Yeah. It's not too sweet, not too heavy, clean. There's no, nothing in your mouth. It's just so clean. Yeah. Um, so yeah. do you think that this bar is pre, during, and after? Is it for all three? Yeah, definitely. Because of the comprehensive nutritional percent complex carbs, percent simple carbs, and the amount of protein and the ease of digestion with having a low to moderate amount of fat mm -hmm. and nothing extraneous, no non-food, no sugars that are not going to digest. Some of the keto products, for instance, will have these sugars that are fake sugars and they interrupt your digestion. You want it, You don't want any of that. You don't want so, that when you're running a marathon, especially. No, you don't want to have any marathon. pit stops on the road. <laughs> you do not want to be run into that porta john. No. <laughs> and it happens. You get these products and you eat them along the way. And you're like, why is my gut just yeah. totally wrecked right now? And it's right. the ingredients that you're right. It's your better body. to go tried and true real food. So yeah, Jambar is perfect for before. 
right? As your pre event, pre raise or pre workout fuel yep, an hour, yep. two hours before, and even during, it's so easy to digest, so easy to eat. It's not too chewy, right? Which some of the bars are too chewy, or see there you can spend a lot of energy chewing the thing, but you need some water. But a jam bar is not nearly that chewy. Yeah, again, because yeah. we don't use the manufactured sugar, so you don't have that taffy chewy. It's much easier to chew. And then afterwards, just to fuel up because you're hungry. Yeah. yeah just get that in. I know you're going to be at the upcoming, some of our events this year in the Asheville Marathon, you'll be there mm-hmm. at the course at the water stations for folks to grab and take mm-hmm. as they run. How, what's your thoughts on, you always hear, don't try something new on race day. How do you feel if somebody hasn't tried your bar and you're a runner? Do yeah. You- Hey, grab the bar and give it a whirl on race day. Or would you say, try it ahead of time go to the store, order some, try it in your training. What are your thoughts on that? I think, I think definitely depends on the person. Some people have a little less sensitive digestive system and they can get away with eating something that is maybe they haven't tried before. Jam bars, so clean and so easy to digest. I wouldn't anticipate any problems. And I was, yeah, you probably could eat it the race morning up. You had no problem, but in knowing some people really want to make sure right because they're really sensitive better to try it just to mention we are at every running store in Asheville area we're at Fleet Feet Foot RX Just Running and Mountain Running Company so we do have jam bars available in the Asheville area and then we're also going to be Earth Fair okay pretty soon here in the next week or so so we have pretty good distribution in your area good can yeah. people order them online too if they're not here? Definitely. Okay. Definitely. So we have our website, jambar.com and Amazon. Make oh, it pretty nice. easy. Very yeah. Good. Yeah. Easy. Okay. Tell me a little bit more about you built this bar and you're really concerned about people's health and nutrition. That's obvious. Where do you yeah. see this bar going? Are you going to add more flavors? Do you have all the flavors out there? I've heard this mango bar. Is it mango? That yeah. I'm supposed to try? Mango I haven't is- tried it yet, but apparently that's yeah. the flavor. People the hit. Have. We won a running, running, Runner's World Award for in February of the best bar. And mango was the flavor of the, of the award. It's a lot. It's like oats and grains and mango. It's so delicious. Cashew butter. It's absolutely delicious. We have mango, then we have jazzle berry, which is four berries. Those two versions are plant-based protein with a sunflower seed protein. So oh, those are the ones yeah. people that want to eat vegan or plant-based. So that's for, that's- um, for those consumers. And then we have our chocolate and malt nut, which are whey based from milk protein. Everything 100% organic and super high quality. But to answer your question, I'm always working on new flavors. So that's what I love to do. I'm a little short on time right now because growing the company, growing pretty rapidly but there will hopefully be a new flavor next year growing a fruit version and then one thing i wanted to mention is a big part of jam bar other than a great product is our philanthropy Mm. we do and we've committed to donating 50 percent of our profits to organizations that promote active living running and biking and getting outside and music and the reason we combine those two types of life skills and experiences is that first of all it makes for you know, a well-rounded human being to have activity and music as part of your life when i was at a dire spot in my life when i turned to music i wanted to make sure that people understand have the access to music mm. so that's actually how i got the name for jam bar get your jam on which could be running too but it's usually a musical term yeah, that's great. Anything else you want to say about Jambar, the business, where you're headed, history, anything that you didn't cover that you want folks to know? I don't know. Maybe a little of my history. So I've been running my whole life. I started running when I was a little girl. She ran a marathon when I was 13 years old. So I have been running my whole life and I'm still running. Good. And yeah, and I've learned along the way that I need to moderate. I wish I could go run really long distances, but now that I'm in my mid 50s, that's, I've had to moderate running 45 minutes or so, whether that's four or five miles, combining with some walking and some hiking and some swimming. But I'm really happy that I can still run because it's so core to who I am. The it's pleasure I get gift. from being outside. It's such a gift. I think if yeah. I've been running 22 years. I got it a little bit later in life. Yeah. 
I've battled with running injuries. And so I've sw- I swim, I bike religiously, I do yoga religiously, okay. just to balance out. But if I could run mm-hmm. every single day, I would. But it yeah. just, the body yeah. doesn't hold up long term. That's, that's exactly I mean, right. But yeah. But I think that's having right. that balance is really key too, just in life mm-hmm. in general, is yeah. even if you want to go all in on something, it's nice to have that balance with things. And yeah. So- being more yeah. and it's good for your muscles and your body and everything too but yeah so I'm still running which is great and music yeah. adds a lot to my life and I'm just really happy that I have the ability to create this company of jam bar and make our own product we have a state-of-the-art production facility here in San Rafael California passionate employees and we have a lot of fun and I'm just doing a lot in the community. That makes me feel really good the amount that we're able to contribute yeah. to the community. We really appreciate your partnership and for partnering with our events that our community can try your bars and see how yummy they are. And we're in the health and wellness business too, creating experiences for people that they're going to take and remember the rest of their life. So right. having your bar there helps enhance that experience. And we really do appreciate your support. Oh, and Thank you that way it Thank really you. means a lot to us and I know, I know we're involved with a bunch of you running you have a, the of course we'll be at the Asheville Marathon and the trail running film festival okay and there's some okay. uh, some other local 5k and 10k events we'll be at this summer nice yeah it's good to get plugged in and you'll have different audiences at all of those different events yeah yeah cool Thank you. Thanks, Jenny, for your time. And it's Thank you, Daphne. Nice just learning more about you and your brand and your business and how it aligns with our events. And we're excited yeah. to have your product there. So thank you. Thanks for all your kind words and your support as well. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we're cheering for you. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right. Have fun all along right. the way too. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks, Jenny. Bye. Bye. Bye.